Hi, I'm Eli Roth and this is my guide to cannibalism. A cannibal, by definition, is someone that eats flesh of its own species. So if you were a chicken and you ate another chicken, that would be cannibalism. And if you're human and you eat human flesh, that is cannibalism. People eat other people for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's out of desperation. If you think about the Uruguayan soccer team that crashed in the Andes, there was a film made about it called Alive. They were stuck in the snow, they had no meat left to eat, and they had to eat each other. It's not just always for survival. The Osmati Ochenap in New Guinea, they ate people because they believed they were absorbing the power of that person and the spirit of their ancestors would be set free. This guy, General Butt Naked, in the wars in Liberia, he would eat the heart of a child before they would go into battle. They would bring out a child, kill the child, eat the heart, and then go into battle. I had a pet pig, so I don't eat pork because it reminds me of my pig, but I've heard that human meat tastes like pork. The truth is, a fatter person would have a lot more flavor. I wouldn't want that. I would want a lean piece of meat, probably not something too tough. I think the buttocks, the rump, that's gonna be a good, strong part of the body on anybody. Like right now, food supply's disappearing, and now it's like, how are we gonna feed everybody? Well, the answer is cannibalism. They say that a human body has enough protein to feed 60 people. Well, everybody's going to die, so what are we gonna do with our bodies? I mean, we don't need them anymore, so why don't they go to someone else? All the starving people in the world could be fed by human meat which would be a, a kind of probably a much greener way of recycling dead bodies than we currently have, where bodies are pumped full of poison and then stuffed into the ground. If we could just eat the bodies, well then that's a great way of helping save the planet. 